Just don't understand what we went wrong. I gave you my heart. I gave you my soul. As a matter of fact, there was a woman who said I love you first. It was a woman who said, oh, don't act like you don't know. You sent it home when your mom was in the room. Could it be alone? See, your mama knew I was something else. She knew how I felt. Back then we were in school. And that's your favorite excuse. Growing up, I was. Why don't you think it's not a good thing? Why don't you think it's not a good thing? like lowly lit in the room even though um even though the room how do i explain it even though the room is even though there's a lot of light in the room it's very dark but i'm gonna meet my crew members in a second so i'm trying to hurry up and get ready so i can meet them with that being said you can't even see me just give me a minute i'll be right back here is my outfit don't mind my little food bump i'm working on it but it's a dress that you've seen before i've um i wore it before in barcelona and where else did i wear it somewhere else but i can't remember but it's very appropriate for this location it's just the weather is not appropriate for it but it is appropriate for the location i want to show you a better view has a cute little slit i'm feeling cute let me just put on a little bit more um foundation I want to put some braids in my hair. I think I'm going to do that when I get back. Anywho. What does that mean? Ooh, you got good luck. Hi guys, so one of my crew members just lost all of his money as you saw in the casino clip But now we're trying to find some food And it is so huge that we are lost. We're basically lost and confused trying to read this map But fortunately the hotel has this touch screen thing that looks so cool On our way over to um, a little bar. When I tell you this hotel is huge, they have a Rolex, Tiffany and Co. They have several Starbucks, a convention center, almost five, six pools. It's really, really big. But we found ourselves at a Mediterranean bar slash restaurant and we're trying to figure out what we're gonna eat. Um, I'm connected to the internet, but it won't load. So, I'm gonna see if they have a paper menu, which I really hope they do, because we can't all share one phone. So, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I think I'm gonna spend the majority of my time at the resort. So, unfortunately, I won't be getting much of Bahamas but I do have a little vlog already from when I was with Virgin Voyages and we stayed at Bimini and we went and swam with sharks so if you want to go check out that vlog um, what's the most popular like this year? 
change of scenery. We're gonna head into Helia. All right, so I'm at the Italian restaurant now, Filia. Let me see, right here. We were reading the menu, which is right here, and we're trying to decide if we're gonna go in and get some food. I think they're a little bit hungry. I'm, I'm okay. I I got food, but I will eat if the crew eats. Um, it's looking really bad outside low-key depressed because i really wanted to lay out in the sun um it is what it is though let's go see what the food is tasting like just kidding guys we did not start off at the mediterranean place and then go over to the italian place and now we're back at the mediterranean place so there's a local beer so I'm trying the Sands Bear, which is one of their local bears. And um, to me, it tastes a little bit like Red Stripe. But one of the bartenders said, can I show them the bar your drink is a prop? That this one, the Kalik Bear, tastes more like Red Stripe. So I'm going to try it out and let you guys know. I don't want to drink too much beer, but this is cool. Yeah, San Francisco was cold. Thank you. Also, bacon, cheeseburger. This one is. Oh. Mm. Got my burger here. For some reason, the lighting is always very yellow when I turn the camera back on. But um, I got a bacon cheeseburger. Um. I really wanted to try some punk, but another time. The shirt that I got from Phoenix uh, that I thrifted, I think I paid $6 or something along those lines for it. I have on my bikini and I got my bag with my water and what else do I have in here? A snack. Gonna head down to the jacuzzi, the hot tub and you know get in the water because it is so cold outside and I'm not coming all the way to Bahamas to not get in the water so if I'm getting in warm water I'm getting in warm water and it will be the hot tub so this is the outfit I think I'm gonna have to tighten my bikini top because girl what's going on here anyway I'll see you guys downstairs to go to sleep I've ironed my uniform and set aside all my clothes I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself for um, tomorrow I think I'm gonna call them and ask for a wake-up call for 5 a.m. I set my phone to 4 50 a.m. and um, Oh, oh, I'm so tired. Anyways, um, what am I trying to say? Pickup is 6.22 a.m. And everything is as it should be. I'm watching my life with the Walter boys and it's so... 
cliche. It's so cringe in some aspects, but I also am watching it. I'm like, hmm, it's very realistic in this part too. And I really like it. I actually like it. I like it as a fill my heart with something cute and romancy and cringy. And this is definitely it. So my life with the Walter boys, you can check that out on Netflix. I'm going to start sharing a lot more of the shows that I've watched and that I'm watching because I do watch a lot of series and movies. I just finished Foundation Season 2. Um, I'm contemplating watching The Princess and the Frog over because I want to watch that. I just watched, rewatched like for the billionth time, um, The Hobbit um an unexpected journey is that what it's called unexpected adventure something along those lines i cannot remember the first one child i just watched rewatched the first one um but i'm really tired so i'm starting to ramble now i just came out here to tell y'all good night and i will see you guys in the morning after i've gotten ready for work because i can't be i can't come on here and do all that extra stuff tomorrow i'm gonna be real tired i'm actually real tired now so Good morning. I'm in Miami now. This song is so loud, um, so I can't talk for long, but but to head on our flight to Punta Cana DR and I'll see you guys when I'm in the galley. So I'm on the plane now and I've done my pre-flight checks, put away my bags. The only thing is that there's no catering. I mean, at least the not to my... Please no. And fasten your seatbelt. We weren't catered. For our next flight, so. Ooh, it's a lot of dry ice, so I could put this in my lunch kit for today, which is good. But other than that, it's a bunch of empty stuff. So, gotta wait for catering to come. But we should be starting boarding soon. It's just frustrating. When they're not here. Let me. Work. Uh, 155. You said you're gonna be good, but. From September. And no one knows when you'll be there next day. They're not even working. No. <laughs> hey, B Squad, here is another room tour gonna try to make this one as quick as possible but I really liked how it looks it's pretty cute I don't know to me it looks pretty nice I'm gonna just do a little pan got my closet right here with you know the usuals the uh, ironing board iron etc etc the bathroom is over there we're gonna go and take a look at the bathroom in a minute and this is the door that we entered through so like I said this is the bathroom the shower is to the left and we also have our sink. I thought this one was a double vanity. A double um, in his and hers type sink, but it's not. And then the toilet is straightforward and through the doors. So I really like the separation in these hotels when it comes to the shower and the toilet. And now back to the bed area. The lighting is very low light, very amber, mellow. And I like bright. I like a bright light. When I'm ready to, you know, wind down and I'm in bed, then I like when it's low and, you know, um, I don't know. But yeah, right now though, I need it a little brighter than this, but I do like it. It is preparing me for sleep. Now the view that I have is, um, an airport view and a highway view, but I feel like when I'm done getting ready, and all the lights are off and I open this all the way up. I think it'll just be really, really nice seeing all the lights and the cars drive by and the planes take off. And that's really about it. So, yeah. I'm gonna change 
eat, watch some movie, and sleep because it is so cold in Miami and it's raining. There's nothing to do for me right now. See you guys in the morning. We're going to Montego Bay, but we're not staying, unfortunately. So, bye! Good morning! So today is go home day, and I'm doing Miami to Montego Bay. Montego Bay back to Miami, and then um, Miami to New York. Sorry, I just had a brain freeze. I'm all ready to go Wear my little outfit. Um, uniform actually. <laughs> uh, it's still looking pretty gloomy outside. And pickup time is 10 minutes from now. So hopefully the traffic isn't bad. But the airport is literally right behind me. So we're not far at all. <sighs> time to go. I'll see you guys on the plane. I'm in Montego Bay now and I am about to leave. Right. It's a very quick trip. Very quick. We're gonna buy some patty and I offered to pay for the patty and make it a girl 2200 Tell me why it is not enough for everybody to get a patty. Anyways. Also, it was actually so rough that we couldn't do service, so I'm hoping that it's not as rough heading back up so we can do service, but it was so bumpy. We were, this, that was quite literally us, so we're like, no, we're not doing that. And then um, the pilot called and told us to sit down for the rest of the flight, so. But anyways, see you guys in Miami.